subscribe to mastermind channel and click the bell icon to get the latest updates of our videos so hi guys this is varsha and you're watching mastermind so friends how was your chemistry exams do write to us in the comment section below and friends now you have your biology exams on 25th and that is the last exam you are having science students are having their last exam and that is the end of your board exams 25th is the last exam that is biology so friends in this session i'm going to discuss with you chapter wise till your chapter 7 that is photosynthesis from your first chapter that is cell division cell division till photosynthesis i'm going to discuss some of the important questions that are there chapter wise as i had done for your chemistry exams and friends before starting with this i would like to explain you the pattern of the question paper for biology it's same as chemistry there are two sections section a and section b section a is compulsory you have to attempt all the questions from section a whereas in section b you have a choice there are 6 to 7 options given and from where you have to attempt any four questions of your choice and friends section a is of 40 marks and section b is of again 40 marks time duration for biology it is 2 hours so friends now let us start with the questions that are there important questions chapter wise so the first chapter is cell division from cell division the first thing you, which you should know that uh, name the basic unit of life you know it is very easy it is cell second question next question differentiate between mitosis and meiosis you know you should know the points at least two or three points differentiate differentiate between mitosis and meiosis next question which stage is said to be a rest, resting phase so you know that interphase is said to be a rest, resting phase next question which is the longest phase and which is the shortest phase of mitosis so friends the longest phase of mitosis is prophase and the shortest phase is anaphase next question what is cell cycle so friends cell cycle it is given in your book you can refer the answer from your textbook cell cycle it is the sequence of events that takes place by which a cell duplicates its genome or synthesizes the other constituents of the cell next question stages of mitosis so friends stages of mitosis it is very important go go through the diagrams which are given in your book that is important there are many diagrams given you have to refer all the diagrams which are there you should know it how to draw all the diagrams that is important stages of mitosis prophase metaphase anaphase telophase all the stages you have to know late prophase and late anaphase every uh, late anaphase and late uh, late early anaphase everything you should know it thoroughly because in your board exams you will get a question based on that you will either be given to draw a diagram no you will given you will be given a diagram and then you need to label the diagram and the questions some of the questions that will be there and then next you will be asked to draw the next stage next stage that comes after the stage given in the diagram so you need to draw that so it is necessary to to be studied all the diagram you should know how to draw it next question now the significance of mitosis and meiosis is very much important go through at least two significance for mitosis mitosis it is an equational division and it helps in replacement of cells lost during wear and tear and there are many uh, significance you can go through that and meiosis also significance of meiosis now there is a question a membrane that disappears during late prophase So friends, it is nuclear membrane. Keep in mind. Now we move on to the next chapter. No, no, one more important question is there: the type of cell division which occurs in the cells of reproductive organs. So it is meiosis. And friends, you don't have much from meiosis part. Mitosis is more important. Go through everything which is there in your book. And next, now moving on to the next chapter that is your human chromosomes. So friends, from human chromosomes, you must remember the formula of DNA, RNA, etc. And also to remember the spellings properly. For example, DNA is deoxyribose nucleic acid, so you must know the spellings also because spelling is very important thing. If the spelling is wrong, then you will not get marks for that. So be careful with your spellings. And for biology, no need to elaborate any answer. You have to write the answer to the point that is important. So structure of chromosome go through the structure: metacentric chromosome, sub uh, metacentric, then telocentric, acrocentric, and all go through that. So friends, these all are there from your human chromosomes. Now we are moving on to the next chapter that is heredity and genetics. So friends, from this chapter, the first question that is there, name the plant, scientific name of the plant in which Mendel conducted his experiment. So friends, it is Pisum sativum, and also be careful with your spellings. P i s u m s a t i v u m is the correct spelling for Pisum sativum. Now who is known as the father of genetics? So friends, it is Mendel, and you have to, you need to write the full name of Mendel. That is 
Grigor Joannes Mendel. And be careful with your spellings. Next question. What are alleles? This is this is important. Alleles are alternating molecular forms of gene or pair of matching genes affecting the same characteristic but in two different ways. Remember this. Next question. Now Mendel's three laws. This is these are important. First law of dominance. First law is law of dominance. Second is law of segregation, and third is law of independent assortment. And friends, one more important thing here. I would like to tell you that. law of segregation is also known as law of purity of gametes please do not get confused if you are asked mendel's law of purity of gametes please write law of segre segregation sorry not uh, it is segregation please do not get confused write law of segregation because mendel's law of segregation its second law is also known as law of purity of gametes next question now this question is also very important Write any two reasons why Mendel conducted his experiment in Pisum sativum, this pea plant. So, friends, you need to write the reasons for that because pea plants they have several varieties and all the varieties they have sharp contrasting characteristics such as color and shape of the seeds. And pea plants, due to uh, due to self fertilization, it is easy to get pure lines of breeds for several generations. These are these all are the reasons. Any two or three reasons that is important. Next question. What is the dihybrid ratio? So friends, dihybrid ratio is nine is to three is to three is to one. Keep this thing in mind. Next question. Name the suppressed allele of a gene. So friends, the suppressed allele of a gene is recessive allele. Next question. What is genotypic ratio? So it is one is to two is to two is to one. One is to two is to one. Sorry, my mistake. Second, what is phenotypic ratio? It is three is to one. Must keep this thing in mind. Now you are given a Punnett square. You need to draw the Punnett square. That is important. Go through that. Uh, you will be given different different questions based on that Punnett square. Next question: What is mutation? Mutation is a sudden change in the structure of the DNA. You have to remember this. Now, name a disease which is caused due to mutation. So, friends, sickle cell anemia is a disease which is caused due to mutation. Go through this. Now, name one X-linked disease found in humans. So, friends, one X-linked disease is hemophilia. This is important. Now we are moving on to the next chapter that is uh, chapter 4 absorption by roots. So friends from this you need to remember the definitions and differences between diffusion and osmosis. Diffusion it is the movement of molecules of a substance from a region of higher concentration to a region of lower concentration whereas osmosis it is the movement of water from a region of higher concentration to a region of lower concentration to a semi permeable membrane. This is important. Now some of the definitions that you have to go through from this chapter is active transport, plasmolysis, and then differentiate between plasmolysis and deplasmolysis. Any two points you have to keep in mind. Now one question is there: potato cubes, when placed in water, become firm and increase in size. You have to give the reason why potato cubes, when placed in water, becomes firm and it increases in size. So friends, it is due to water is a hypotonic medium. and endosmosis occurs due to which the water moves inside the cells of the potato and it becomes potato becomes turgid and cell size increases this is the reason you need to write now one more important question why wooden doors why they swell up during winter season so friends the wooden doors they swell up during winter season due to process of imbibition this is important now you need to know the some of at least one or two importance of osmosis and diffusion and also go through turgidity and flaccidity that is important now we are moving on to the next chapter that is your ascent of sap so friends from this chapter you need to remember the definition of ascent of sap ascent of sap is the upward movement of water and minerals from roots to aerial parts of the plant against the gravitational force this is important and then go through the cohesion and adhesion forces and there is one experiment given in your book so i suggest you to go through that experiment properly that can come because it is mostly asked in your board exams there is a experiment uh, to show that xylem is the path of ascent of sap so go through that experiment now we are moving on to the next chapter that is your chapter 6 transpiration so friends from transpiration you must remember the definition of transpiration and then what are the three types of transpiration cuticular trans uh, cuticular transpiration stomatal transpiration lenticular transpiration and all factors affecting transpiration go through that next question what is gutation gutation it has two pronunciations one is gutation and gutation you can pronounce it as anything 
that is not our concern so friends go through the definition of gutation and there is one more important question structure present on the margins of the leaf so friends this is hydathodes must remember this now there are two methods which are used for measuring the rate of transpiration uh, it is weighing method and one is photometer method so friends this photometer photometer method it is important ganong's photometer uh, a diagram will be given a diagram based question you can check in your 10 years many a times this question is repeated uh, ganong's photometer go through that and uh, you will be asked the limitations of ganong's photometer so go through the limitations at least two limitations two limitations of ganong's photometer go through that this is very important now we are moving on to the next chapter that is photosynthesis so friends from photosynthesis what is what photosynthesis this is important definition after that the overall chemical equation of photosynthesis that is 6co 6co2 plus 12h2o gives uh, c6h12o6 plus 6 uh, h2o plus 6o2 this is important now what is the by product of photosynthesis so it is oxygen you know that by chemical uh, sorry by product of photosynthesis oxygen it is important next question what are the phases of photosynthesis there are two phases light phase light phase and dark phase uh, where does light phase occur that is important and where does dark phase occur this is important and which stage is known as uh, kelvin cycle which stage is known as kelvin cycle so friends uh, kelvin cycle it involves uh, the second stage that is dark reaction must remember that and light reaction it is also known as photochemical reaction and what are the steps that are there in light reaction that is important and also the steps which are there in dark reaction and in light reaction what is photo uh, photolysis this is this is important photolysis it is the splitting of water breaking down of water it is known as photolysis and what is phosphorylation now next question where does light reaction occurs you must remember it occurs in the thylakoids of grana and then where does dark reaction occurs it occurs in stroma must remember all this this is important now next question what is what are the factors that are involved in uh, photosynthesis what are the factors that affect photosynthesis this is important now there are two experiments which are important from this chapter that is photosynthesis one is to show that to show that chlorophyll is necessary for photosynthesis and another is oxygen is released as, to show that oxygen is released as a by product of photosynthesis this is important so friends these these were some of the important questions that you have to go through starting from your cell division till your photosynthesis these are some of the important questions and very shortly i'll try to make a video in which i'll be covering the rest of the chapters whatever are left from your circulatory system and all whatever is left and friends it is not possible for me to go through each and every chapter uh, chapter wise it is not important for uh, it is not possible for me to make a video on that so i'll try to make a combined video in which i'll be discussing important questions i'll try to make a combined video in which i'll be covering rest of the chapters so friends i end here thanks for watching this video and if you like this video then please do give the thumbs up button and subscribe our channel mastermind and do comment us if you have any queries related to your book